Today, the first day of classes for several universities across the country, including our own Fairmont State Falcons. Emily McNamara spoke to a couple of students about how they were feeling upon their return to campus and joins us now. She's at campus. Good evening, Emily. Good evening, Don. It was a beautiful day for school to start, and students seemed to be excited despite the numerous changes that were made over the past five months to their campus. Last weekend was when freshmen reported to campus for move in, and upperclassmen will be finishing up their move in process today and tomorrow. President Martin told me that the two weekend move in went smoothly, and the COVID testing for students, staff, and faculty has been fantastic so far. And as far as the results go, they are looking great, and they also have almost tested every student in the population here. I also spoke to one of the student workers who has been helping students learn their way around this new normal, and she told me that Fairmont State has gone above and beyond in ensuring the whole community feels safe on their campus. This is my first year as a resident assistant in the residence halls, and it's been a little bit of a change, but we're helping as much as we can. If they have any questions, they can come to us. We had a whole bunch of virtual trainings. A lot of the classes are starting to be virtual, so it'll be an interesting year, but I'm ready for it. With these things that they already have set up for students to practice these social distancing, President Martin said they are discussing having a possible second wave of COVID testing for every personnel at the university. And on top of that, they may introduce some drone technology that will be able to collect data on the health of student and staff on campus, as well as detect those risky parts of the campus where large groups gather. But she said they will release more information on that as the year goes on. For now, I'm reporting in Fairmont for 12 News. I'm Emily McNamara.